who had two ch two children with this lady after so he clearly he's a liar clearly he's a liar and had myself diagnosed god is my witness i'll even tell you where if you're from chicago on skokie on lincoln by howard they interviewed me two counselors and they say from what we gather you have ptsd ptsd okay if you think that's bad fast forward two years later fast forward two years later she starts an affair with a puerto rican guy in the gym <laughs> guy named <laughs> ricardo she meets him at the gym she starts it again that's how i knew she was having an affair that's how i knew because the same signs from the first affair the first affair she'd pro she'd say she's going to the gym and not come till three four in the morning she did it again. I knew, but this time I was smart. I hired, hired a private investigator. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys, I knew it. I felt it. I knew he was a liar. Oh, I only came back for my two children. I didn't care about her. I didn't care about her. I've seen these types of incels in my life so many times. They're not men. They're like, little children, little like disgusting, ranky little animals disguised as like a human. Let me tell you, let me tell you guys. I only came back because of my children. I didn't care about her. I only came back for my children. I have PTSD because I can't handle stress. <laughs> I'm fat and I'm ugly. And my wife makes fun of my, <laughs> my manliness. So I got PTSD. <laughs> I don't I only came back for my wife. I only came back for my children. I don't care what my wife did. So that's why I hired a private investigator to hunt her down. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a loser, man. What a complete loser. Private investigator caught her the first night. First night caught her. She would go pick this guy up from the alley of his home. He lived on Tui by Harlem. And they would stay out till three, four in the morning. And then she'd come home. She <laughs> You can't help but laugh if it's such a top tier loser. Leave at 8 p.m. at night. And during one of those times. No self respecting man. No self respecting man would do the things that this guy has done. No self respecting man. Took a picture of her, that Puerto Rican guy, and her maid of honor. This past Saturday, she got married to the Assyrian guy because the relationship with the Puerto Rican guy didn't last. Her maid of honor, her name is Nina. She's now divorced and she has four kids. Her maid of honor would drive my ex-wife and her Puerto Rican lover, took them to a sports bar, and I have the picture on my phone, archived. And this maid of honor of hers, Nina, pretending to be a Christian, used to come to my Bible study, oh. knows that we're still married. This no guy gets humiliated on the daily. Guys, this is a sign. When you're that hateful and negative, you get humiliated beyond belief. I'm at home with my daughters and yet drives her around with this Puerto Rican guy who's still married, by the way. His wife is divorcing him. They're not even divorced. He's living in his mother's basement and she pretends to be a Christian. And this is the woman that stood up for her this Saturday. My friend, you pretend to be a Christian apologist preacher after talking so much horrific things about your wife and using all these using all these disgusting words to describe people. What kind of a Christian apologist would ever do that? This is the kind of man you are. You pretend to be a Christian. You pretend to be a Christian apologetic. And it's not Nina. even just that. This is the point I'm trying to make. He's bad for Christianity. He smears the faith because the Christian faith is of love and peace and biblical standards of speech, which he all violates. So he's actually doing Christianity a disservice. And you know what's disgusting? She's even a cop. What does it tell you about America that you can have people in police, legal system, who are immoral and filled with the devil. And these are the people that are going to maintain law and order. Three points. Point number one, you are very immoral and disgusting and vile, and you preach the word of God, which is in the Bible. You preach the quoted word of God in the Bible, and you talk about being other people being vile, 
Point number two, seems like everybody in his life is this Christian, is this crazy satanic person except for him. Maybe if everybody else is crazy, maybe they're not and you're the one that's just crazy. Number three, this is the point that I'm trying to make. Revive Christianity. I want a revival of Christianity of the West. The West is falling. The nihilistic globalists are taking over. Revive Christianity. Not through these kind of, because this is what I'm saying. People like him smear the faith. They make people lose faith in Christianity. They repel people from the gospel. Why would anybody want to follow somebody that's talking about things that are supposed to be holy in such a vile manner? An impatient, disgusting manner. And that's Sam Shimon for you all. Yep. No, I'm going to talk about my kids. I'm going to retitle this. I'm going to say my life, my life. Okay. And I'm going to share with you something. I'm going to be very open with you guys because you guys are going to think I'm trying to play victim. I'm not. All right. You're not trying to play victim. You just cried about gonna, like your, your sorry life for like 20 minutes. You're saying you're not trying to play victim. Be very open. And I know people are going to use this against me, but be it as it may, the I'll probably be lose supporters, but may the Lord use this to forgive me, to heal me and save others from my mistake. What mistake? Now here's where it gets. What is he like saying that like he's repenting about? My, all you've done is come call people names and horrific things and admit it's your stupid faults and not even repented for your dumb faults. Bad with this relationship with this Puerto Rican guy. He was having an affair with my ex-wife's cousin's wife. Let me repeat. Holy my ex-wife's cousin, a young man, married with a daughter, had a kidney transplant from what I know. His wife, she too was a hairdresser, like my ex-wife. And this guy was a barber, by the way. He was a barber. This guy was having an affair with her cousin's wife, unbeknownst to him. And I'm going to tell you how amazing God is. How amazing God is. How unbelievable God is. How the Lord exposed her cousin's wife through me. Watch the story. You guys want, you want to see how real God is? You want to see how real God is, guys? I mean, you want just to see seeing your story, I, I believe in God even more because he humiliated you so badly for talking ill about holy people and using the word of Jesus, the name of Jesus Christ, in the same sentence as calling your wife a disgusting name. He humiliated you for that one sentence time and time again because you're a hateful, disgusting man. How miraculous real God is and that when the Bible says your sins will search you out, it will search you out. Yeah, I will retitle it. OK, let me tell you, you're going to get blown away. I was blown away what God did. OK, now this Puerto Rican guy named Ricky was having an affair with her cousin's wife, unbeknownst to him. Now watch how God, how real God is. About eight months into her immoral relationship. I get contacted on Facebook. I get contacted on Facebook by her cousin's wife. I'm not going to mention him or his name because I don't want him to be exposed. Poor guy. He's a victim in this. She goes, hey, I just want you to know your, your wife. And this time she had got me out of the house. She was having an affair with the Puerto Rican guy. And she'd bring him into the home that she got me out of. And he'd be there till four or five in the morning and then leave before my kids got up. That's what she did to me. <laughs> no self-respecting man would go through that day in day out that just shows you how much of a loser sam shimon is it's okay she contacts me on facebook i don't know who she is she says to me hey you know your wife's having a, a affair with a guy named ricky i go old news i already know i had a private investigator and she knows i know because i confronted her it's now out in the open you see, he's she's such a liar. Yeah, he's a jerk. In this own video, he's lied so many times. I don't care about my wife. I only came back for the children. But I hired a private investigator to hunt her down. What? He's a womanizer. You know, he's my neighbor. Something in my heart revealed something to me. Watch this. And I know it's the Holy Spirit now. Hindsight. 
I said, can I ask you a question? She goes, yeah. Are you, are you having an affair with this guy too? She goes, no, I swear, no, it's not that. It's just not fair what she's done to you and, you know, blah, blah, blah. I had a suspicion she was having an affair with this guy and he left her for my ex-wife. Guess what? I was right. You know when God revealed it? That's why she reached out to me. She didn't reach out to me because she cared. She didn't reach out to me. She cared. She was angry and jealous that the guy left her for my ex-wife. So now both of them, both of them have dirt on the other. But neither one of them wants to expose the other publicly because they don't want word to get back to their spouses because she's still married. You know the best her- part about this whole thing is that there's no story because he doesn't admit it. He probably cheated. But this is the best part. I was like, maybe Sam cheated. I'm like, Sam probably didn't cheat because who's sleeping with Sam? <laughs> who's sleeping with Sam? Cousin. Sam? Now watch this, guys. You want to see how real God is? You want to see how amazing the Lord is? Amazing the Lord is. Fast forward a year later. The man, my ex-wife's cousin, I see him posting stuff on Facebook, and I can tell by his Facebook that he's having marital problems. See, there it goes. Yeah, there she goes. So there you go. Same trying to distract, but we're covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. I now my ex-wife's cousin, I can tell. He's having marital problems because he's posting stuff on Facebook. So I reach out to him. Guys, you get you want to get ready to be blown away? You guys want to get ready to be blown away? You want to see how real your God is and that your sins will find you out? Your sins will find you out? I love how he keeps talking about the other people. What about your sins finding you out and your horrific reality of what you live in? Your life sounds like a complete shambles from start to finish. What kind of life is that? You want to hear you want to be scared how real God is and you don't want to mess with him. Okay, watch here. Watch the story here. I reach out on Facebook.